Adriatica Ionica, stage two. So first stage was just a normal, normal sort of crit in the evening, no GC changes. Anyway, here we go. We quick step. Have a lot of riders here, about five or six, I believe. James Knox, small climber, small climber from the UK, decides to absolutely launch it and uh, go solo. Not really anyone's thinking of chasing at the moment. Everyone's like, well, we'll just let him go. I mean, he's 4K out, 5K out, sorry. Um, he's not going to solo it. He's not really known for that. He's a climber. Uh, but yeah, so this this race, this stage, sorry, was punctuated by lots of gravel, which is why you'll see such big splits. So there's a big group behind with a minute 32 with a lot of other favorites, Jan Polanch and a couple other UAE guys. In terms of teams here, it's generally Italian Pro Conti teams uh, with Quickstep, UAE Team Emirates, um, Israel Cycling Academy, um, EF Education First, uh, Bahrain, I think that's all the World Tour teams. Um, but yeah, it was a good race last year, did enjoy. Ivan Sosa won it, um, destroyed everyone up the uh, Paso Jao, I believe it was. Uh, but yeah, so this time it's going to finish in a sprint. Quick step of the favourites, they've got Hot Egg, um, we've also got Heinrich Hausler there, Sasha Modolo. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, the story of the day is Quick Step Domination, to be honest, because um, they have so many riders here compared to everyone else. They have Mikel Honore, Florian Senechal, Philippe Gilbert, James Knox, um, Avaro Hodet. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, they're in a strong position um, at the moment. He's our cycling academy and Caicedo, I believe it is, for EF Education first, chasing him down. Uh, and there's going to be some more counterattacks. Um, Mikel Honore decides that, you know what, it's time to go. Um, and it's putting everyone else in the, in the hurt box. Uh, and Astana here as well, sorry, I forgot about them. But yeah, so it's been it's been a good race so far. I was going to do the whole highlights, but it just takes so long to find it. Uh, and also you have to download like a three gigabyte file. Um, but yeah, the gravel sections were good. Anyway, Miguel Honore with 3.6k goes, decides he's going to go. Marco Canola follows him. Uh, you had a pretty disappointing Giro in my eyes. I thought he was going to get some stage results in the sprints, but uh, did not. But yeah, anyway, he follows. And then Heinrich Hausler, I think, believe... And everyone else follows, you can see the helicopter footage is unbelievable from this. It's just so good. They they actually show it all. Um, there's no trees in the way. It's just really, really good. Uh, so you can see exactly the chaos behind. Um, and quick step playing it cool. You see Gilbert, uh, Florence saint and Hodge. They're all sitting at the back and they're all just being cool customers. Knowing that quick step have dominated this. They've got riders everywhere. They can just happily sit at the back and just let things go. Um, and you know, that's, that's how they're going to play it. Um, they're going to counter-attack. And when it all comes back together, they're still got the strong sprinter. Now, Rory Sutherland goes. Um, I guess everyone is tired at this point. It was quite a long stage. I think it was 160k. Like, it's not ridiculous for them, but still decent length. Um, so they're starting to get tired. And obviously everyone thought, you know, there's not a huge team here. So it's going to get uh, a single rider could get away. Uh, but unfortunately for them, to Takuna Quet Stepper outrageously strong and sewed back pretty much every single thing. So here you can see Mikael Honore just driving it and uh, Kaisido behind him for EF Education first um, and you know that now they've brought everything back and the, okay the group's in two bits but we all know it's going to come back together because quick step on and allow Hot Egg to just fly off the bat with one with uh, two and a half kilometers but James Knox he's in a really good position is pretty much the only GC guy in this front group um, so he's going to start the day with sort of a minute and a half I think the gap went down to about a minute um, but yeah he's in a really good position so if quick step were more of a GC team, uh, they would have just be on the front now and just driving it. But anyway, James Norris comes back to the front to try and drive it. I guess he's got told, start to lead it out um, and also think about your GC. But then he wants Kaisi to do a work turn. He doesn't really seem very keen. Israel Cycling Academy sort of messing around, not doing much. But as you can see behind, Quick Step are starting to really assemble their lead out with Florian Sen Seneschal. Well, Mikael Honore first, then Seneschal, then Gilbert, then Hodeg. Um, but it's not really very fast, you know, maybe 40k an hour max. Um, well, normally, obviously, if it's a sprint, it'll be 60 k's an hour now. Um, Casido goes, but Honore, again, is super strong and just brings him back really easily. Um, and, yeah, it's just like, right, here we go. The lead out is starting to appear um, from quick step. James Knox is quite far back, but decides to come to the front to do one last turn uh, before he leaves it to the big boys. So you'll see him just come up in a minute and uh, help everyone else out. Uh, but, yeah, Hodeg is quite far back at this moment in time. But Oh, sorry, Hodeg is third wheel, but um, Gilbert, I think, is... Uh, second wheel and the honor is on the front uh, but you'll see the Florence Seneschal um, starts to move up along with side James Knox and um, the final three is uh, Seneschal, Gilbert, Hodeg and uh, yeah quick step <laughs> well I'm not going to spoil it for you but it's suffice to say quick step have a very dominant performance in this race um, oh it looks like is that Top Sport Flandre in here as well in the yellow and blue kit 
A lot of odd teams. Rompola here. I guess it's pretty much everyone who didn't get an invite to the Tour de France is here. Here comes James Knox moving up on the uh, Aswax uh, Venge, I believe he is. Bit of a climber, but likes his Venge, the old man. Clearly a bit of an aero addict. Uh, but yeah, he does a small turn for the old man. Uh, and then swings off. But he's he'll be happy. He's got good gap on GC. He's my favourite, to be honest. He's got top 10 in the UAE Tour, which is World Tour race. Um, and Catalonia looks strong as well. And with some other good results this year. Resigned for two years with Quick Step, so it's all looking good for the old, for the young man, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so Quick Step is starting to lead this out, not rapidly fast as you can see. The group's not strung out at all, still bunched up, uh, which obviously means they're not going absolutely full. But it's the last kilometer, so you know you only really need three or four, three guys in front of your sprinter for the last kilometer. Someone take it to about one k to five hundred, and then five hundred to two hundred, and then your sprinter. So yeah, I guess yeah, maybe only two riders in front. But Israel Cycling Academy start to swamp, but Quick Step will remain calm, uh, they're chill, and uh, you'll see Hodeg move up with Philippe Gilbert. Philippe Gilbert starts to really drive it now with Florian Seneschal. Um, as you can see here, Philippe gets on the front, it's like, right boys, I'm going to lead you all out. So here we go, Hodeg third wheel, and we all know what's going to happen here. There's absolutely no chance he's going to lose. Sasha Modelo is the only real other sprinter, and Modelo hasn't got a result in absolutely years, so it's all chill. Uh, Canola, I think, tries to go early. Doesn't work. Modelo's EF education first. But here come the quick step trio, sprinting all across the road to collect a 1-2-3. Hot Egg wins, followed by Seneschal, followed by Gilbert. Um, absolute domination by quick step. Honoré and James Knox roll in on the same time, uh, which means, you know, quick step are in an absolute dominant position. They've got every single leader's jersey. They've got every single jersey at the moment. And this is the second group who roll back. Uh, rolling about a minute behind with Novo Nordisk leading the chase. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this race. Should have some more footage. Uh, can't do any Tour de France, obviously, because I'll get copyright striked. Um, but yeah, anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.